Hi everybody! So I wanted to do another video and this time I wanted to do a Midori Traveler's Notebook planner setup. So I will be going through what I have in my planner and show you guys how I'm setting it up. So in order to protect my Traveler's Notebook, I have this canvas cloth that I bought from Sakura Lala. This is the number three and it fits my regular size nicely. It doesn't cover the top, but it's, it's good enough for me because it protects it when I put it in my bag. So let's start. And as you can see, I have the Camel's Traveler Notebook. And for my charm, I have the Fly to the World from Japan Traveler's Factory made in Japan. And this is a brass charm that I bought from Nico Neko Zakaya on Etsy. And I just stick two different pens in there. I have the Uni Style Fit, which is my favorite because it has the thin lines that I like to use. And I also have the Friction Ball Slim in 038. You can see that. Let's zoom it in. There you go. And this is the retractable. And I also really like this. It's a little thicker than the 0.4 that I've tried before, which is really weird. And I like that it has an eraser because I can erase any mistake that I have and redo it all over again. Anyways, let's get started. So here I have a globe charm or an earth charm that I got from Pipit Sakaya store or Pipit Zaka store. And I bought my camel traveler's notebook from them. So they included it in my package and I wanted to use it as my charm. So when you open it up, you have the zipper case. And of course, as you've seen in my other video, I still have the same things, the stamp stickers and the washi tape samples, as well as pressed flour. And then I have my journaling insert, which is just a 002 grid insert. And what I like to do here is I like to do a little writing about my day, as you can see. So just a little snippet about my day and what I did that day. And I also like to put in just little things that I received through the mail or people. And I just like to stick it on here as memory. So uh, I'm kind of behind for May, but I don't think I'll be going back and filling it in because before my trip to Big Island, I got so busy that I wasn't able to do any journaling and during the trip I was documenting in my travel insert so I wasn't doing any on here but now that I'm back I'm trying to redo it again and here I'll also be doing or documenting things that I learn about myself or things that I discover about myself I had the bullet journal insert which is which was also a 002 grid insert but I removed it because I found a different way to do bullet journaling and my planning. So I switched it up to creative journaling insert and I hope this will work for me, but anything can change. And then in this pocket, I still have the same stuff except for my bean counter stamp card. I got this in Big Island. I don't really go to Coffee Bean, but if anything, I can always have that. When I need to go. And I just stamps and a random dollar just in case I need money. And then these are ephemeras that I stole from the Hawaiian Airlines counter when we were checking in to go to Big Island. And I also have this sticky note that I bought from Haku Bondo. It was on sale for a dollar ninety. And it was a bigger pack, but I only like to carry maybe five sheets at a time so that my notebook isn't too bulky. So what I've done differently is I'm trying to incorporate these notebooks or these inserts that I bought last year in October. So I got the weekly 
um, weekly horizontal and the weekly vertical. And I kind of, after being so excited about them before the year even started, I just kind of fell out of love with them and I went back to a ring binder or a ring planner and I just kind of stopped using them and now that I'm back in a traveler's notebook which I really love and definitely prefer over the ring planners I'm trying to incorporate them and use them especially for the second half of the year so this is the Lee horizontal I just have a little sticker and like I said I haven't really done any except for this week and a little of last week but here is how I started and then I just kind of got out of it so it's pretty empty up until this week which I've started to do here I did a master to-do list so all the things that I need to do such as pay my credit card my phone bill other things that are important that I need to do and then lately I've been wanting a camel passport travelers notebook but I didn't really have a wish list area so I just decided to write it here it says wants and then little checkbox and the things that I want or I, I call this my little wish list and then from the little post-it note that I had earlier I have project deadlines that I need to do and just little notes to remind myself it's just a way for me to see notes and other things that I would want to look at especially on how to personalize and make my traveler's notebook my own so that I can love it completely and then on this side where it's dated you can see that it's it's like the area it's the area where I am bullet journaling so here it says pay for your bills renew the FAFSA for my brother and then I have things that I need to do for the day and I found it really helpful so far because it's very minimal not a lot of stamping or decorating which I can always look at write what I need to do and check it off and I'm done. So I'm trying it out for the next few weeks and then when I move into the new insert for half the year, for the last half of the year, I am able to have it down and stick with it. And then I have my craft folder. Zoom in a little bit. So then I have my craft folder this is the new one and my old one is with my traveler's notebook brown color which I take on my travels and it's kind of beat up, very old. It's been about a year and a half so I decided to get a new one. And I still have the diary guide, some of the Midori stickers, postage stamps, and other stickers that I would like to use later uh, business cards and stamp cards for different stores and I just randomly stuck stickers on here so for this one it's the same situation as the weekly horizontal I started it out and like I said just kind of fell out of love for it so it's pretty empty I, I tried to come back and reuse it, but it wasn't really well working well up until the last week of April, which I started coming back again, tried just documenting little things. I tried using it as my daily planner. It didn't really work out because I'm not sure if it's because of the limited space that I have per day. But I just started sticking like little washi tape and post-it notes that I received from other people or just reminders for myself and then it all of a sudden blew up when I went on my trip so while I was on my trip or when I was in the Big Island 
it really helped for me to use this vertical because I could just list down the things that I needed to do or the places we want to go to and check it off. It was much easier for me and I could just scribble. I didn't really care about having it all neat and nice. So that was really helpful. And this is what it looks like for the week of May 9th through 15th. And then this was last week, which as you can see, it starts to get a little better, a bit more color. Lots of stamps, stickers, and then this is this week so far. So this week I'm starting to kind of tone it down a little bit, have a, like maybe a color theme. As you can see, I'm trying to do browns, yellows. I was trying to do green because of the clover, but that didn't really work out. So I, I think this week I'll go with a brown and yellow color scheme. So I'll keep doing that for the next few weeks up until I have to get on with new insert. And as you can see, this is a bit more decorative and more creative planning. So I'm gonna keep it this way. This is gonna be this insert is gonna be my creative planning. And then this insert will be my very minimal bullet journaling slash weekly planning for important stuff. So that's really working for me. And then I have some business cards and then a little brochure slash pamphlet from Haku Bondo. And that is my planner setup. I hope you guys like it. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask comment down below or find me on Instagram and simply direct message me, send me a comment and I'll get right back to you. I hope you guys like this and I hope this is helpful for you or for you guys to be able to set your traveler's notebook up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you.